The popularity of Acer's Nitro series is undeniable. The main reason for this is the fact that these devices combine decent hardware with a reasonable price tag. The Acer Nitro 5 is a typical representation of what you can expect from a new Nitro laptop. Every year the laptops get some refresh treatment. Expectedly the improvements for the new devices take place under the shell of the notebooks. The looks of this particular device seem largely unchanged compared to what we saw last year. It is entirely made out of plastic. However, this doesn't mean its chassis is weak, as we found it pretty rigid in terms of structure. It weighs 2.2 kilos and has a profile of about 24 millimeters. Basically, it sits in the middle of the compactness scale. What is more important here is that the keyboard is really comfortable for gaming. Moreover, the WASD and arrow keys are highlighted. Also, the arrows are pretty big, but they feel a bit crammed into the rest of the keys. Once again, we have a solid port selection. It includes a Thunderbolt 4 connector, 3 USB type S, an HDMI connector, and a LAN port. Unfortunately, there is no SD card reader. Thankfully, there are options to upgrade your device. You get two SOTOM slots for memory expansion, an M.2 slot for fast SSDs, and a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay for large libraries. Check out our teardown video to see how to open the device. Quite often, manufacturers pick lower quality displays to cut costs. This is a bit weird since the display is pretty crucial to your gaming experience. Unfortunately, this is the case with our version of the Nitro 5. Yes, the 1080p IPS panel provides comfortable viewing angles and a good contrast ratio, but it has a pretty limited color coverage and slow pixel response time. Thankfully, it doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustment, which makes it safe in long gaming sessions. However, you could also buy the model with a 144Hz 1080p IPS or even with a 165Hz 1440p IPS screen. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. If you're going all in, you can also get the laptop with the Core i7-11800H and the powerful RTX 3070. Stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Our device because comes equipped with the RTX 3050 Ti. Mm. It has a 75 watts TGP and is well, capable of no. running The Witcher 3 with 70 it. FPS at full HD cards. resolution and ultra graphics quality. Battlefield 5 is another demanding title that looks amazing at ultra details. Well, you can't go wrong with this GPU since it achieves more than 90 FPS at 1080p with these settings. Weirdly, despite the low temperatures it was running at, the RTX 3050 Ti here wasn't willing to use its full 75 watts budget. We tried with a cooling pad, and with maxing out the fans. No difference. In a world where budget gaming laptops are around every corner, you have to choose carefully. The Nitro 5 hasn't really changed much over the years, but what is good about it, is that Acer always keeps it up to date in terms of hardware. You can go all the way up to the RTX 3070, and if you pair it with dual channel memory, you can expect miracles. One must-have in our opinion, is to get the 144Hz display option. It would make a night and day difference and is definitely something worth investing in. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.